How's it going everyone? Big Chris 12 here. Um, so I was going to go kayak at this lake and look for some good fishing spots, um, but before I go anywhere to kayak, I always check out Google Maps. I put it in satellite view and I just kind of take a look around at the water and see if there's anything cool. Um, one thing on this lake that I was going to go to, if you actually zoom in, you can see someone marked a spot that says good fishing. I don't know how people do that on Google Maps, but either way, I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, I like to use Google Maps to kind of scout out areas before I go to them. Uh, so you can see someone on Google Maps here marked good fishing. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, you're a maniac. Uh, I look at where I can park so I can I see like, hey, look, there's a little place here. But I noticed something really interesting when I was looking at this lake. And you can see it right there. It says North Marsh. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Gosh. You can see North Marsh marked as a place of worship. If you zoom in there, there's no building. Very interesting. So naturally, I'm like, what the heck is that? So I'm gonna get as close as possible and we're gonna figure out what North Marsh is. So I'm gonna have to load up my kayak and go out. And there's one review on the place, which just is by a guy named Brian that says it's exactly as described. Um, I couldn't find anything else about this place online. Obviously no website, nothing else for it. So. So I'm gonna to try to get um, all my equipment together and we'll slap it on the car and then we'll, we'll go out there. Good dog. <clears throat> all right out here on the lake now um yeah it's a lot colder than i thought it was going to be it's like 45 50 degrees so i'm bundled up i know i'll start sweating once i really get paddling you can see over there's the north side and then the inlet um for the river should be right over there Well, it's uh, crazy how the eyes work, because from really far away, I thought that white thing was a boat. Um, it looks really big. So I got closer, I was like, oh, it's like the size of a barrel. And as I get closer, I'm like, how's oh, it like a trash bag? And there's this like weird island bank here. I keep running these little banks. It turns out it's actually a dead crane. So now I feel pretty bad. Just making this place a lot spookier. Poor uh, bird, rest in peace. So this is just like scattered islands to the river. Um, it's pretty nice, really nice out here. Um, this is pretty much it. I don't see a cathedral yet. I figured I should uh, at least get out and look around if I'm gonna give this place a thorough review. Also trying to be respectful because I know somebody owns this land. I don't know where their house is, but this is the Midwest. So people usually ask questions later and shoot first. Definitely. some uh, little beavers around here. Okay, well, I have to say I'm not, not disappointed. Um, I think the actual drop for the location is there, in the exact center, which I, I'm not walking through that. Um, <laughs> but this is this is close as I'll get, and uh, the wildlife out here has just been great. Um, man, okay. I was thinking of like what to leave for a review, but I'll have to think about it on the way back. Um, Oh my gosh, there's just an insane amount, like all, all the ducks now are flying out there. That's actually wild.
Once I got back in my boat, I thought I saw something around this corner, so that's where I was. I came around this little island. I thought I saw something through the woods, so I'm gonna check it out. Darn, I guess it's not as exciting as we thought it was going to be. Oops, I can't tell quite what this is. Maybe old feeding trough or something. Old chair there. Bucket. Yeah, if you have any ideas what this is. Leave it in the comments.